Hey, welcome back to another video. Today we are covering fast LED topics, um, or sorry, fast LED effects, um, and we're going to be working to create the lightning effect, which is not this one. Um, I'll probably insert some clips of it at the end here. Pardon the quarantine haircut for all of the uh, filmed clips, but uh, yeah, without further ado, let's hop into it. Alright. So, uh, let's get into the coding portion. So, um, I'm just going to do a time lapse of writing this, and then I will come back and explain to you how it all works, um, and a few little odd bits and bobs that you can do if you want to. So, so far, um, we've just kind of set up all of the, uh, the LEDs and stuff. Uh, again, I'll explain this later. Um, and then we're calling, um, we're calling lightning, but this doesn't currently exist. Um, so let's go ahead and make that.
back now after working out. Um, if you watch closely the last time, you see that I didn't originally have this working. Um, it just because you know I don't I don't do planning for these uh for these coding videos. I know I don't do a lot of them, but I don't I don't do much planning for them before I just kind of jump in and uh, tackle the problem. Um, and work out problems as they come and I'm not saying that's a good strategy but it ended up working and the code for this will be down in the description um, and if you the link to it uh, obviously will be to github um, and I would be careful with this um, it is rather stroby um, it does yeah it it's basically a strobe effect just in random places um, I wanted to have it run three times, like, um, to kind of simulate lightning and then stop after that, but then that would, that would, you would need to remodel this because, um, the void loop function runs forever, so, yeah. Um, so yeah, this is just always gonna be repeating for all of history. In fact, I don't even think... I need that. Hold on, let me just test it really quick. And yeah, no, it's the exact same without that. So, yeah, I will uh, leave the link to this down in the description. Um, but I said I was going to explain um, how this works um, for people who don't understand it. Um, so, all these Arduino things are just things that I've written in the past. Um, and so on and so forth. But for this one specifically, um, you're just you're telling the Arduino uh, what library you want to use. Um, in this case, it's Fast LED um, to control the lib or to control the LEDs. Uh, the data pin, uh, which is the pin that your LEDs, the data pin of your LEDs is hooked up to. How many LEDs you have? Um, then you're just creating an array uh, called LEDs that houses the amount of LEDs you have, uh, or creates that many slots, sorry, in the array. And then you're adding the kind of LEDs you have, the data pin they're on, the kind you have, and the color order. Um, depending on where you buy your LEDs from, the co color order is going to be different. Um, for example, right now I have GRB, but I also have some behind me that are RGB, so um, yeah. And then you're just clearing uh, the strip so if you have a sketch running before this um, instead of just writing what you're doing here over top of what was already displayed on them you're just clearing them so you're setting every LED to zero brightness with no color um, and then you're showing that so that it actually well it actually does that um, and then the void loop function is usually where you would write all your code um, but I like to do things using um, little methods down here or functions, whatever you want to call them. Um, I guess functions doesn't really work, but whatever. Um, I like to do it this way um, in which I can call it or I can just not call it. Um, and then down here we have it being created. Um, and then we have current section. Um, which is the current section that we want to point the for loop to. Um, we can get rid of this because this doesn't really work. Um, yeah, so we're just kind of telling it uh, we want to pick a random num or current section is uh, a random number between zero and for me it's 252. That took too long. Uh, 252. So yeah, and then this is just gonna loop eight times. Um, so current section um, is gonna be, okay, this, this is the part that some people may get confused um, and be like, how do you have white? This should be like whatever color um, the, uh, this hue is, whatever 255 is, I think it's red. Um, but um, see, I have red selected here but then I have the opac opacity set to zero. So um, basically none of that color is getting through, it's just white. So um, zero is white and as this number gets higher, it'll become more and more um, red. 
as this number gets higher. Um, but I wanted white, so it didn't matter what this was, um, but this had to be zero. And then I wanted full brightness, so I wanted, I set it to 255. Again, be careful here. If your power supply is not capable of setting eight LEDs uh, to 255 brightness, um, you can do the math for how much uh, power that's gonna draw, but if your power supply can't handle it, or you're just using the Arduino to power them, do not upload this. This will destroy your microcontroller uh, and or your power supply. Um, and then it is taking current section and adding the value of I and then setting that to it as well. So um, it should be, uh, it should start with uh, current section. So let's just say we have uh, 200, it'll work its way through 200, and 200 to 208. Um, and then those LEDs will be set to white. And then we're showing that, delaying for 10 milliseconds, clearing and showing again. And you basically, Got a bunch of random bars uh, everywhere. So uh, yeah, this that is my version of the lightning effect in Arduino. And as I said at the beginning of the video, I want to make more coding videos in which I make uh, like I do projects like this. Um, obviously, I don't want to make them as short as this one because this one is very short. Um, I want to work on some very, much more complex projects. Um, including TensorFlow and stuff if I can figure out how to get that to work. Um, but if you want to see more coding and programming videos, uh, just let me know. Uh, just say something down in the comments below. And uh, yeah, also if you need help, if this isn't working for some reason, let me know in the comments because I remember when I was starting with Arduino and WS2812s, um, I was having a lot of problem getting, getting going. So uh, yeah, if you need help, let me know.